How do you guys handle things when they're a, a big news item that's controversial? Like there was a lot of attention on Twitter during the election because of the Hunter Biden laptop story. The New York yeah, we Post. Have that too. Yeah, so you guys censored that as well? So we took a different path than Twitter. Um, I mean, basically the background here is the FBI, I think basically came to us, uh, some, some folks on our team, and was like, hey, um, just so you know, like you should be on high alert. There was the, we we thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. We have it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of of um, uh, uh, that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. So our protocol is different from Twitter's. What Twitter did is they said you can't share this at all. Um, we didn't do that. What, what we do is we have. Um, if something is reported to us as potentially um, misinformation, important misinformation, we, we also have this third-party fact-checking program because we don't want to be deciding what's true and false. And for the, I think it was five or seven days when it was basically being, um, being determined whether it was false, um, the distribution on Facebook was decreased, but people were still allowed to share it. So you could still share it. You could still consume it. So when um, you say the distribution has decreased, in, it, it got shared. It, how does that work? It basically the ranking in newsfeed was a little bit less, so fewer people saw it than would have otherwise. So it definitely by what percentage? I, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's 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 meaningful. But I mean, but basically, a um, a lot of people were still able to share it. We got a lot of complaints that that was the case. Um, you know, obviously this is a hyper political issues. So depending on what side of the political spectrum, you either think we didn't censor it enough or censored it way too much. But right. but we weren't sort of as black and white about it as, as Twitter. We just kind of thought, hey, look, if, if the FBI, which you know, I still view as a legitimate institution in this country, it's a like very professional law enforcement, they come to us and tell us that we need to be on guard about something, then I want to take that seriously.